All right, hello and welcome. Now we're going to be looking at frequencies. So frequencies are very cool to look at, study, play with. And in fact, um, there's so many cool things that you can do with certain frequencies and hertz uh, that you would be amazed on some of the experiments you can run. Okay, so I, now I got a blinking LED. Big deal. I've been doing that. All right. Um, well, I also have the ability to generate any form of frequency or hertz. So what are frequencies and hertz? What what is that? And we do have a couple things that I've changed up just to add some excitement into the mix. I have an Arduino Do here that I'm going to be showcasing. I also have my Arduino Uno, a uh, brand new case. Uh, allows me to say, oh, well, you know, I want to try this out at work. I'm just going to kind of fold this up and I'm um, going to stick a pin in it. And I can go on to the next area of my existence work wherever and what's really nice is if you have kids which I do um, <laughs> yeah, your little parts don't go flying everywhere where they become choking hazards uh, because they can go in the little side thing and it's totally hard to get open for a kid adults not so bad and I can just kind of put it in there so these are my new cases that we're going to be using within the videos. More wire management, a little bit more portability. There are some things that you're going to need for this chapter, okay? But they're not necessary, okay? You can do this all with, um, you know, just a few dollars. One thing you're going to have to do, though, is go to Radio Shack. I really hate Radio Shack. You know, it's not that it's bad. It's just the track phone users. Oh, God. I, I don't know. If you've ever been to Radio Shack within the past, oh, let's say, year or two, they got the track phone users there now. And what they do, they can't figure out minutes online. So they go into the store, and they buy minutes, and it takes forever just to buy this thing. A one mega ohm linear potometer okay so you're gonna need this it's at Radio Shack you can find them online too uh, they are three dollars is very useful okay so get one of these um, the reason I'm using a one mega ohm is the fact that there is a large change between you know the the, the ohm ratio and and whenever there's a large change I can make really finite movements on frequencies, hertz, and other adjustments. So this is a really nice thing to have. I have a couple of them and one of the things that I like doing is making it so everything mounts in a breadboard. So I took all the stuff off of it, all the wires, and then I mounted three wires that go down into the breadboard. So you're going to, you know, need a little bit of soldering experience with this. Not too bad. But now, yep, I can use them anywhere I want on the breadboard. Boop, just like that. Very cool. And you can get knobs for them too. I just, you know, one of the things, that, you know, I have a 3D printer. I should print a knob. It's just one of those things. If you own a 3D printer, you'll understand what I'm talking about. You'll build a, a nuclear weapon out of... ABS plastic, but you'll forget to build the knob for it. Okay. Um, oh, another thing. All right. So this is a high power LED. And it looks like a sunflower. These are really nice. Okay. So this is my upgrade. And certainly you can use the same old, same old thing that we've been using. We've been using what? A standard LED. They must be like 50 cents. This one's a little more advanced, and what happens is I took a wire, uh, soldered it at the top, soldered the black wire, so positive and negative, and then wrapped the two so now I can bend it 
I can aim it at things. <laughs> These are really nice for photography too, by the way. Uh, where I got those was SparkFun. Okay, so SparkFun.com. They have white, green, red. They're called Luxion, I think, Rebel. And get the ones with the discs. So one, two, three, four, five. These don't get anything else because what happens is, one, you're going to need some soldering experience if you get these. So don't get those. Uh, these things really aren't useful too much for me. But uh, you can explore them all you want. But these are the ones that I use all the time. Bump, 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 bump. These run at a very low voltage, but are bright as all get up, and it really hurts to look at them. So be careful. Uh, don't stare at them. <laughs> I think they're they're either three watt or one watt, but they're really powerful. Okay, sweet. So that's something you want to get. Again, you can use a standard LED if you wanted to. Now, we're also going to be looking at oscilloscopes, and these are going to cost you a little bit, but, man, this is a really cool toy, I must say. So, DSO Nano version 2. I have the version 1. I'm pretty happy with it. What happens is I hacked it a little bit, so it has a different um, little operating system, so you can mount different operating systems on it. And... Yeah, very, very handy to own. Again, you know, it's starting to get a little expensive. These are $89. Do you need it? No. Am I going to use it in a video? Yes. So, uh, wherever you want, if you want to get one, that's fine. But uh, just know that they are really handy. I like the portable one. I do not like the benchtop one uh, because, you know, I'm all about portability. I really like to go different places and do this stuff. So I love the Nano. Very cool. Cool. So there are some things that you're going to be needing. Uh, other than that, you've already had the cable that I had earlier, the one that I sliced up, the RCA cable that allows you to go to a speaker. So you're probably going to be needing a powered speaker if you want to play with the audio variation of frequencies. Other than that, we're done shopping. I'm done explaining what I have now. And let's go on with the video. <laughs> 